everybody. Uh, hello, Mr. Prashant, and hello, student recruitment agencies. Thank you for joining our webinar with Global College Mata. And our speaker today will be Mr. Prashant, the Chief Operating Manager of Global College Mata. And I'm Jones, Marketing Specialist from Net24. Thank you, everyone, for joining this webinar. I'm Dr. Prashant Mishra. I'm the Chief Operating Officer and Executive Director for Global College Malta. Um, uh, it's a pleasure for me to meet you online. And uh, without taking further time, I will start with a brief introduction, a presentation on Global College Malta, so that you become aware about the USPs, about the kind of offerings we have in terms of the programs, in terms of the scholarship, admission process, visa process, and then how do we function with agencies, with our consultant, which is you. So I am sharing my screen. Yes, so Global College Malta. We are here in Malta from year 2012. This is our 11th year. We are one of the most prominent, recognized, uh, good standing uh, college over here in Malta. And we award programs starting from foundation level to bachelor's, master's up to doctorate level. All the programs that we offer in Global College Malta are awarded by, are recognized and accredited by Ministry of Education Malta, which is known as MFHEA, Malta Further and Higher Education Authority. So that means all the programs which are being offered by Global College Malta are well accepted globally for employment purpose, for research purpose, for higher education purpose, for credit transfer to US, UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, wherever you want to. So all the programs are awarded, are recognized and accredited by Ministry of Education, Malta, MFHEA. The mission and reason of uh, Global College Malta is to develop people to the true potential. And with our strong academicians that we have from UK, that we have from different part of the parts of the world, the pedagogy that we follow is outstanding all the programs all the credits modules are designed in a way so that our students are set on a pathway of uh, global learning and they become a lifelong learner their learning doesn't stop they keep on progressing and then they achieve the milestones they want to achieve in their life so it's not something which we just focus on theory it's a mix of theory it's a mix of uh, industry visits it's a mix of internship placements it goes seamless hand in hand. A brief about our academic dean, Professor Chris Haslam, who is from uh, UK. Professor Chris Haslam is a big name in education industry in the United Kingdom. He had worked with University of Wolverhampton as one of the chancellors. He holds a professorship from University of Chester in UK. He is a research professional from Meteorology and Climatology Department. He was also working as a deputy director with Quality Assurance for uh, UK. And he has been uh, supervising and under undertaking the Quality Assurance for more than 100 UK and international universities during his uh, period. And uh, he was also an advisor to New Zealand government, uh, government on the University Assurance and University Quality Checks and all that. He was uh, executive dean for University of Chester and uh, he has been trained by UK government for teaching excellence and he is also on board of uh, Global Charitable Trust London as well as academic dean for us as well as he's one of the advisors for Ministry of Education Malta. So this is the kind of profile that he has and under his leadership, under his guidance, the programs that we have developed, the faculties that we have are, are considered as the best over here in Malta. And if you want to know more about him, you can uh, look out for him on LinkedIn. That will give you more idea about his credentials and about his achievements and the kind of uh, navigation he provides to Global College Malta. There is a small uh, 30 seconds video about Global College Malta and about Malta, why you should be coming over here. Let me play that.
That suppression is, I think, is a bit impossible to listen to the sound. Maybe it's, uh, uh, yeah, maybe it's something in the settings <laughs> that uh, you know. Okay. Yeah. Well, in that case, in that case, I'm cutting down this video, and I will just list down the. <laughs> <laughs> no yeah. worries. You know, it happens all the time, even yep, to yep, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, why coming to Global College Malta or why Malta should be an option for higher education? There are endless reasons for it, but I will list down a few, which is I'm sure is going to entice the students and the applicants looking forward for higher education abroad. Global College Malta, we are here from last 11 years, almost 2012, we started. All the program that we have, they're designed in a way so the students, especially the international students coming to us, can work part-time, can work full-time. For an example, the bachelor's program we have, they are designed in a way the classes are going to be two or three times in a week, either in the evenings or in the daytime, for four hours each. So they can choose to come on Saturday, they can choose to come on Friday and Saturday, 5.30 to 8.30, 5.30 to 8.30. Like this, they can come two times in a week and they can cover the entire program. For the rest of the days, they can work part-time and they can earn a generous amount over here because on an average uh, in Malta for part-time jobs, you are being paid around six to seven euros per hour. All the programs that we have, they are accredited by higher educational uh, authority over here in Malta. As I told you, all the programs are industry integrated. We ensure that our students are practically exposed as well, not just theoretical. We have number of scholarships being offered for local students, but for international students, there is something which is very special in Malta. Any student who is coming and doing a bachelor's or master's program in Malta, they are eligible to get 70% of the tuition fees refund by government of Malta under job plus scheme. This is very important. So the fees say, for an example, the fees for bachelor's program is 5,000 euros per year, and it's a three-year program. The student is paying 15,000 euros in three years. After that, he has to work in Malta for two years. Once he works in Malta for two years, in the third year, he becomes eligible to take 70% of the tuition fees refunded which means 15,000 euros he paid and he will get around 10,500 euros refunded by the government of Malta. So, so if you see technically, he's just paying 4,500 euros, 5,500 euros only for, for three-year program. This is something which is very important and every student should take, international student should be taking benefit of this. So we offer this scheme, our college is listed with government of Malta under this 70% tuition fees refund, which is a job plus a scheme by government of Malta. And the link to this scheme is there on the website of uh, Global College Malta. You can read more about it. We have students from around 50 countries. So we are culturally diverse and we provide seamless support to our students from the time they file the application till the time they arrive and they settle in Malta, they graduate from here. So once you file the application, our response time is so high that within 24 hours, you get a response for that. Within 48 to 56 hours, we close the admission by taking interviews and releasing the offer letter, provided there is no Saturday, Sunday in between. And once the student comes over here, we ensure that he gets all the accommodation support, he gets all kind of counseling, he goes for resident card and he, he gets internship opportunities, he gets part-time opportunities, so we ensure that we are holding the hand of the student till the time he graduates and then he starts Zooming on his own. Flexible payment plans, we have the student are allowed to pay in two installment or three installment and uh, classroom sizes are limited to 25 to 30 students per classroom so that we can pay individual attention. International students coming from different countries from diverse background, they have different needs. Uh, with some students, English is at, at some basic level with some intermediate level, some are good in mathematics and aesthetics, some are not. So we ensure that we pay individual attention and extra classes are provided to the students who need these kind of additional supports. Students are allowed to work part-time, 20 hours a week. And as I told you, they can earn six to seven hours, six to seven euros per hour, which means if they are working for 20 hours, they can easily earn 140 euros per week, means they can earn around 600 euros, 560 euros, per month. In Malta, if you stay on a sharing accommodation, two students in a room, you can easily manage everything within 600 euros. So once you come over here, you start working part-time after three months to uh, four months, and you are earning 600 euros, you need not to bring uh, uh, money from your home country. You can sustain on your own as long as 
your tuition fees is being paid. And uh, student have the option to uh, stay back after the completion of the program. You can stay back up to six months in Malta in case if you do not work part time during the program or don't get a job. Still, you have that six months of stay back option after bachelor's and master's. Malta is one of the safest countries to live in. You will never hear Malta into, into any kind of criminal news or say bombings or killings or racism or no. People over here in Malta, they are very friendly. They are family oriented. They are adaptable and they love to meet and greet and uh, make friendship with the people from outside. And that's why the influx of international students to Malta is increasing year on year. The quality of life in Malta is, is uh, compared to other European countries is uh, one of the best in terms of uh, being economical. So uh, that is also one of the reasons, like, like as I told you, within 600 euros a month, you can manage very well over here if you are staying in a sharing basis accommodation, which might not be the case in other European countries. I'm sure because you all are consultants and you're working with different com countries and different colleges, you can agree to it. And apart from that, uh, I would like to highlight that in Malta, everybody speaks English. So English is one of the official language, English and Maltese, which means need not necessarily any student coming has to learn, uh, say, German or, or, you know, most of the European countries you go, you have to learn the language and language is a barrier. But in Malta, it's not a barrier at all. You can start and you can start conversing and you can uh, go apply for jobs. You can make friends. It's easy when English is the mode of communication. It's always easy. Malta is one of the fastest growing economy. And in Malta, you have a lot of entertainment opportunities. Malta is a hub for eye gaming. Malta has a film industry, Game of Thrones, Gladiator, uh, that movie uh, on, on uh, Dinosaur, what was the name? I'm forgetting, Jurassic Park. And then uh, uh, there are so many movies which are like 250 movies have been shot in Malta. It, it has a big film industry. And uh, you can, the students also like when they need big uh, groups, they go and work part time and they earn very well. A good thing about Malta, it's a part of European Union and Sengen country. So when you're in Malta, you have Rhine Airways, you have Viz Airways, within 50 euros, you can go to Spain, Portugal, you can go to France, you can go to Italy, you can go to Switzerland, you can go to Czech Republic, you can go to Austria. Every Saturday, Sunday, when you have a long break, our students go and explore Europe. I have seen students flying every month. So they, they have targets in mind. Okay, within a year, when I complete my MBA program, I would be covering around 20 countries and they are actually doing that. So that's only possible when you are in, in Malta. Well, that would be my goal if I were in Malta. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So Malta is a homeland for travel and tourism industry and much more. It is well connected to Europe, lot of entertainment opportunities. Malta is a tourism economy. And Malta has 300 days of sun, not, not like most of the countries in Europe where the temperatures are in minus and there is a snowfall. Malta, the lowest temperature goes to around 8 degrees, 7 degrees. The highest goes to around 35, 38 degrees. So that is why most of the European countries, people keep coming to Malta to enjoy sea beach, to enjoy sun tanning, to enjoy uh, all these uh, touristical places. Malta has more than 365 of church. So one day, Every day you can go to a new church. And uh, Malta has more than 7,000 years of history, part of World War I, World War II, and so many museums. Um, it's, it's a beautiful island, it's a beautiful island. So any student who is coming to Malta will never regret. In fact, I can even boast like that, it would be the best decision of his life to come and study in Malta, because ultimately after five years, he can even file his application for residency, though it's a long time taking process, but at least he can start with that. So these are some of the USPs. The good thing is part-time jobs, 70% tuition fees refund, country is adaptable, English is speaking, and the temperatures are moderate. You don't need to, like, like uh, students coming from Africa and Asia, they don't need to uh, get adapted to all the snowfall and minus temperatures. So they are they can adjust themselves easily over here. Uh, a brief timeline about Global College Malta over here. So we started in 2012 and we moved to Smart City Malta, which is an area in south of Malta in 2013. We have a state-of-the-art infrastructure. We have huge campus over here. The campus is just next to the sea and there is an area where you can do the jogging, you can walk around. There is a musical fountain in the evening and the boats from there, the ferries and the boat and the cruise goes from 
this part means, means just next to us from here to Sicily, which is the south part of Italy. And it takes 90 minutes by boat to go to Sicily in Italy. So yes, it's, it's a beautiful location. You will fall in love. I request you that you go to the website, learn more about Global College Malta, go to our YouTube page, see the videos, go to our Instagram, follow us. And then I'm 100% I'm sure that you will fall in love with Global College Malta. 2014, we have a collaboration with the University of Chester. We were running their program. 2016, we started developing our own program and we got approval for our programs from, uh, from Ministry of Education, Malta. 27, because we covered five years in Malta, we announced a number of scholarships uh, to different officials, government officials in Malta. That was, again, something which helped us to grow our network within the government. 2021, we signed up with University of Buckingham, UK for certain of the certain programs. 2022, last year in April, we celebrated our 10th year and this is our 11th year. So this is a brief timeline about Global College Malta. These are some of the pictures which you can see. Some of these pictures are old. Uh, this is how the um, campus looks like. As I was telling you, it's just next to the sea and there's a musical fountain. You have gymnasium, you have number of pubs down. And it's, it's a beautiful location. You will come over here and you will admire it. You can, you can look out for more pictures on our social media handles. These are the programs which are with us, Bachelor of Arts in Management, BA in Marketing, BA in Management with Psychology, BA in Human Resource, BA in Management and Human Resource, BA in Tourism and Events, BA in Accountancy and Finance, Undergraduate Diploma in Management, Undergraduate Higher Diploma in Management, BA Business Management, Top of Degree. And uh, these all bachelor's program, they're of three years duration. The tuition fees is 5,400 euros to 6,000 euros. So this presentation, maybe I'll, I'll put it uh, 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 through NET24. It will reach to you for all those who have registered for this webinar so yeah. that you have this and then uh, you can go through the uh, details which I'm telling you right now. At master's level, we have MBA program, we have a MBA in logistics and supply chain, MBA master of science in leadership and change management, master of science management, MSc in management with human resource, MSc in marketing, MSc in tourism and event management, MSc in health and social care management, MSc in petroleum engineering management and postgraduate diploma in management and even doctorate in business management. So these are the programs, all the master's program are of eight months and the tuition fees is in the range of 8,500 euros to 9,000 euros. Admission process for Global College Malta is pretty simple. You have to go to the website and there is apply now. You have to complete the application wherein you have to upload all the required documents, which I will tell you in the next slide. Make and payment of 100 euros for the application. Once it is received, within 24 hours, you would be contacted by the admission team of Global College Malta. And they will tell you that, yes, your application is accepted. You are eligible. The next step is to have an interview with the student. This interview part is very important because we are a serious college. We do not accept each and every student. We need to see the intention of the student. We need to see how serious they are about joining this college, whether they have done a research about the college, about Malta or not. So if you are filing an application, please counsel the students accordingly, because I'm going to ask, or whosoever is interviewing is going to ask, okay, tell us where exactly is Global College Malta in Malta? Tell us where exactly is Malta on the Google map? Tell us which program you're applying, what is the fees for that? Once we are convinced that, yes, the student's intention is to come and study and progress over here, we issue the offer letter within 24 hours. That offer letter is to be accepted, payment is to be done. And after that, the admission officer from Global College Malta will guide the student for the visa process. We have 97% visa success rate for our college because we follow a structure and we ensure that our student is well prepared in terms of finance, in terms of documents, in terms of facing the interview with embassy of Malta. So we have 97% success ratio for visas for our student. And uh, yes, we will uh, talk about that later. The documents that is required for admission is your updated CV, all the transcripts or mark sheets for your qualifications, a scanned copy, color copy of the passport, a scanned copy of IELTS score. We need a score of minimum six, uh, IELTS band six, personal statement that why do they want to join Global College Malta, 
reference letter from any institution or college or wherever they have worked, one passport size photo and a proof of funds, which is like around 11,000 euros. This is a show money. This you need to show for a visa purpose. Need not necessarily that you block it in the account for six months or one year. Once your visa is processed, you can withdraw this money. So these are the documents required. But at this point of time, I would also like to highlight that each and every detail that I'm providing you here is listed on the website in terms of documentation, visa process, list of questions that can be asked by embassy. Our website, gcmalta.com is exhausted and it is designed in a way so that it covers each and every question that can pop in your mind. So if in case you miss out anything, uh, please feel free to check our website and I'm sure you will find question for everything that you would be looking forward. But we are going to have a question and answer session after this presentation in which you can raise your hand or you can type in your question. I will read it out and I would be happy to answer it. As I told you about the funding, the uh, government of Malta refunds 70% of the tuition fees for international students and local students. And there are other uh, options available, but mostly for local Malta people. For international students, 70% refund scheme is there, which is called the uh, Get Qualified and Job Plus scheme. Okay, as I, as I have been emphasizing again and again, we are very social. You will find us on every social media handle, whether it is Instagram or it is Twitter or LinkedIn or Facebook. So please go and check us out. And I'm sure the more you learn about us, the more research you will do about us, you would be you would be enticed, you would be attracted to us. And uh, we are true to our words. We believe in delivering whatever we commit. And uh, it's time for you to test us. Uh, summing up why the students should be coming to Malta or why they should come to Global College Malta, because English is one of the official language. We have 300 days of sun. It is one of the safest country, high quality of life and relatively economical to live in. All courses are approved by Ministry of Education Malta. All courses are taught in English, member of the uh, European Union, member of Sengen country. The infrastructure facilities are the best for the student. You have the post-study work right. You can stay back in the country after completion of the program. It has gorgeous beaches, close connections with Europe, 70% uh, Europe, tuition fee refund by the government. A student can work up to 20 hours per week and earn well. So these are some of the reasons that should be in your mind when you're talking to the prospective student. And uh, yeah. So here we are, our website, you will find each and every contact detail. You can even find out my email address there on the website, gcmalta.com. And uh, you can write to us, you can WhatsApp us at any point of time. And there is a chat functionality on the website. You can uh, go to the website and you can start chatting, which is most of the time there is someone available except late night and all that. And when it comes to business, we are serious people. We work on flexible hours, though we know that our agents and in Malta, there's a time difference, but we always try to revert to you as soon as possible. And we ensure that we give you seamless support because business is the priority. And uh, uh, the service to, be, service to be given to our consultant, service to be given to our student is the first and foremost priority for Global College Malta. With this, I end this presentation and would like to take up any questions that is popping up in the mind of our uh, participants. So uh, Ms. Manjri Singh, she is asking, how can the student get the refund of their tuition fee after completing the course? Kindly let me know the process. The process is simple. Once you complete the program in Malta, after that, you have to work for minimum two years in Malta. Once you work for two years in Malta in third year, you have to file an application on the website of Job Plus, get qualified scheme. We will give you all the invoices and documents required from college side. You will submit that. Our email will come from the Get Qualified Government to us, verifying the same. We will verify it. And then the tuition fees refund would be transferred to the student account, local Malta account. That is why I'm insisting that you have to be in Malta when you're claiming refund. So process is pretty simple. Complete your program, work two years in Malta, third year apply for the refund, get the refund. Next question is talk about the visa process. Uh, yeah, visa process is very simple. Once you make the tuition fee payment as per the invoice, which is sent along with the admission letter, with the offer letter, then we collect all the documents from you. We send it to the uh, 
Visa Malta, which is a central visa unit in Malta. They generate an online link. This online facility is for certain countries like India, like uh, Mauritius, for different countries, there is a different requirement. So online link is created where all these documents are uploaded. The central visa unit will verify the document and if they are found in order, they will say that make the payment for the visa. Visa payment would be done by the student and then there would be an online interview with the central visa unit and the student. And after that, they will ask you to send the passport by courier. They will book a courier and the passport will come to Malta. It could be stamped with the visa and sent back to the student, that's it. In certain countries where this facility is not there, you have to go to VFS Global, apply for the appointment. We will help you in getting the appointment. And once you get the appointment, you have to go with all the documents, face the interview face to face. And after that, your visa would be stamped and your passport would be handed over. So this is the visa process. Third question is from Mr. Akeen. I would like to know if this recording will be made available to the participants. Please, Ms. Jones, can you answer this? And would this recording would be shared with the participants? Yes, the recording will always be shared with our participants. Oh, okay, great. Yes. Yeah. And there is a question about agent opportunity. Yes, agents and the consultants, they, you are very close to our heart. And we ensure that we give you seamless service in terms of admissions, in terms of commission. We offer commission starting from 15%, goes to highest 25% of the first year tuition fees. So you can get up to 25% of the tuition fees as your commission. Uh, we need to sign up for that. There is an agency agreement, which uh, I can share with you guys once you can write an email to me. There is a section on our website, gcmalta.com, become an agent. You need to go there, put in your details, it will come to us, and then we will share all the details with you. A uh, question from Manjuri Singh is IELTS is mandatory? Yes, it is. If you don't have an IELTS with a band of six, you have some other exam, such as PTE, such as Duolingo, uh, that would be accepted in the uh, equal uh, mark statement. So for Duolingo, you should have a score of 115 or more like that. Uh, there is a question from Mr. Samiullah Abdullah. Do you have foundation courses or general English courses? Yes, we do have of six months and one year duration and we accept students for that. Thank you so much, Dr. Prashant. So let me sum up with uh, some numbers. You have answered 53 questions from 68 student recruitment agencies around the world. I thank you from my heart, from the core of my heart for you attending this webinar and for NET24 team for organizing this, which is very well organized. And I appreciate the efforts and thank you so much.